Good afternoon, everybody. Chris Wood here. September 1st, 2022. I just want to say to William Aldridge, to Blair Hardy, congratulations. My identity theft is done, you fucking pieces of shit garbage. Congratulations to Spencer Mills, OPP 14716, you human trafficker. You identity thieving fucking scum. Ex chief. The one who shot me in the ear back in 2019 to start this bullshit, you are a fucking terrorist. Staff sergeants, you are kidnappers and sex offenders. Shannon Cork, you are nothing but a protector and a foot soldier to a murderer to your fucking boss, William Aldridge. <laughs> Robert Lucas, can fuck, can kill, can get away with it. You sure can. I was just out with my dog and you were out back staring at me pretty fucking heavily. <laughs> getting ready to pop a fucking... Instead of using Waldridge, he probably getting ready to fucking load his gun. To Shelly Hafner, or Huffner. To Stacy, mental health worker. To Dr. Tatiana V, her girlfriend. To Dr. Joy Hadley. To Dr. Waldron. To Dr. McGregor. To Dr. Ambimbola used to discriminate against me. Dr. Sue used to discriminate against me. Dr. Fardell used to discriminate against me. Dr. McGregor, Dr. Walden, Dr. Um, Joy Hadley again, Tatiana, triage nurse, Tanya, a blonde haired woman, triage nurse, Terry, and triage nurse David, and Paladin Security. William Bill Waldridge, 149 Center Street North, Napanee, Ontario, boss, inmate, sex offender, co-offender, with and for OPP, Blair Hardy, allegedly in Quinney on, on drug charges, but he is co-offender, and he is boss, and the ones that gives him orders to OPP, he is co-human trafficker and co-drug trafficker, and part of my identity theft. Javen Alstein, Tyler Lake, Ray Ray, Sam, Hope Mills, Michelle, Allie Cooper, and Bucktooth Bob, you are all guilty of aiding William Aldridge in this to me. You are guilty of murder in the first degree. You are guilty of ending a bloodline. You are guilty of mentally murdering me and physically and fucking taking me over. Because that's exactly what has taken place. For three years, I've been getting lived through and broadcasted through by what is called remote neuro monitoring. And it is an implant that is used through the police and military. And what it does is it fucks a person's nervous system up. And also... I have William Aldridge's prisoner tracking onto me, so I have to read as him. I have the 24-7 R&M, and I have his prisoner tracking on me for this framing, for, for, for this framing, and that's exactly what this is about, replacing me with Waldridge's sex offender, who they will not touch, who they will not arrest because they can't, they work for him, they, they cannot touch their boss. They cannot touch Hardy, they cannot touch Lake, they cannot touch Glenn Austin, they cannot touch Waldridge. They cannot touch Ray Ray or any of the other ones that I named. These are co-offenders to OPP. These are the ones that they are paying in money and drugs and passing R&M around on victims to mentally fuck them up, to deform them. You are not only guilty of doing this to me for your boyfriend, Spencer Mills, Blair Hardy, you fucking dickhead, you're lucky you're in hiding, I dare you to come out of hiding, you piece of shit goof, because that's exactly what you are, you are a piece of shit goof, and so is your brother, or your fucking cousin, or whoever he is, Waldridge, last known use name, 149 Center Street North, possibly William Bill Cooldridge, or Della Rossible. Kind of funny that there was a homicide in, uh, Smith Falls a few years ago and it was covered up 
It was done through the police. It was covered up. The person was taken to Ottawa, but this person's name was William Bill Cooldridge. The one doing this for me, OPP boss, William Bill Woldridge. The only difference is the C and W in the name. How very fucking interesting is that? These cops are also associated still with serial killer Russell Williams. So is Blair Hardy. So is Woldridge or whatever the fuck his name is. But anyway, I am 50 years old. I am an identity theft victim. I am a human trafficking victim, and I am an attempted murder victim for revenge retaliation for speaking of police crimes since 2019, and I will not be proven wrong. The lies, time buying, cover-ups, arrest refusals except for on me to deflect your crimes and to help buy time medically and everything else, and was also to give me a record so you could get everything else you needed, my prints, my pictures, and you already had my blood and my piss from being from when I was kidnapped thanks to Shelley Hafner and her bullshit lies through her incompetency crap. And that was done just to shut me up in an attempt to shut me up. And so I would not be talking about showing this. And so they would not be getting and also to get out of criminal and civil lawsuits. This is 100% done and proven. So one way or another, I will find a lawyer, and I am going to sue your fucking ass, Lennox and Addington County General Hospital. I am going to sue your doctors. I am going to sue for millions of fucking dollars. You are guilty of aiding in this criminally with negligent intent. Sir Tatiana's fucking bullshit. File falsifications. I had not had to get been to a doctor or a hospital in almost from seven to ten years before all of this before 2019. And the chief went by, ex chief went by and shot me, and it went into my right ear. And then and the lies started and everything else, the medical blacklisting. My skull has been seriously deformed. It was split, and I have proven it. I am the end of my bloodline, and my bloodline is dead now, and my identity is pretty much gone because of a psychotic piece of shit who happens to own OPP, who is untouchable, and has sex with him, and who is a sex offender pedophile, when they need him to hide so he cannot be found, they give him word, and he usually goes down to a local pub downtown here, or hangs out at a local coffee shop while the cops are watching him that he owns. They tried it before, in hopes that I would react when I seen him, which was a convenient setup, hoping his hand standing right there, and then the cop right going by at the same time, Mills at the same time, hoping that I'd see him and react. Didn't happen, but that was the whole plan. Anyway... You got your identity thief, you piece of shit, motherfucker. You're lucky you're unarrested. You're lucky you own OPP, and you're lucky you suck them off, and I don't care. You give blowjobs to OPP. You own them. You are a co-offender. Waldridge, you are a sex offending human trafficker. You are garbage. You are a lowlife. You think that you are me. I am Chris Wood. You are, you are whoever the fuck you are, but you are not me, you piece of shit. You are delusional. You are highly psychotic. You are a fucking goof in every sense of the word. You are a sex offender. You have sex with children. You sell children with and for OPP. Waldridge of 149 Center Street, who they will not touch and arrest. Go there, and I guarantee you, him and I, our identities are a lot alike, and same with fucking Blair Hardy, who, like I said, is allegedly in jail, but he is there hiding, still doing this to me, and all he needs is a cell phone giving her hook up his ass that he is still using while in there, if he is. So, my identity is gone. Congratulations, and I'm not taking a fall for you, Woldridge, and I'm not taking a fall for fucking Hardy. And I'm not taking a fall for Tyler Lake, the piece of shit, because they all blow OPP and work for Spencer Mills and Robert Kane. This is a fucking game on me to them.
to, like I said, to frame me as a sex offender, and I will not be proven wrong, right, Spencer Mills? Anyway, Chris Wood here, not Blair Hardy, not William Aldridge, or not any of the other fucking groups that OPP are associated with in human trafficking and stealing identities and pensions and taking out insurance policies on people and having them murdered, having parents stopped by Woldridge and Blair Hardy, i.e. my mother, OPP, had my mother stopped and murdered back in 2020 from Woldridge and Hardy, who was using r &M on her, who gave her cancer from it. So, you're getting away with my identity theft, you're getting away with my murder. I'm not going to take a fall, OPP. I'm not taking a fall for you, you cocksuckers. This has been for three years. This is why I've been medically blacklisted, discriminated against, so OPP boss, sex offender, boyfriend could get away with this. Anyway, if you like this content, please hit the like button, share, and subscribe. And remember, identity thefts can happen, and this is how OPP human traffic. This is how they frame, and this is how they murder here in Napanee. And they have the hospital and a justice of the peace to back them up, and everybody to cover up for them. You did it, you psycho fuck. And you will pay for it one way or another, OPP, the hospital, and Waldred, you piece of shit garbage.